Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. In the last episode, we stopped by Bevel, you know, to pick up Yuna, because she was just chilling. Not, she was about to get married to Seymour Butts. Undead Seymour Butts at that. Anyways, we stopped that shit in its tracks, and Yuna, instead of killing herself, jumped off a cliff and landed on Rey Mysterio. That was cool. Um, in the meantime, we had to stop by the Cloister of Trials, because, well... That's what we're here for, right? She needs to finish her pilgrimage to defeat Sin. She's got to stop at all the temples. This is one of them. Let's fucking do this fucking shitty-ass Cloister Trials today because I'm not excited for this. <sighs> this Cloister Trials just takes forever. Like, it was one thing to fuck up the damn... The last one where I was, like, ruining the goddamn... The ice one that I did. It was, like, it was bad enough when I was effing that one up. But this one is just like a matter of just frustration because it takes too long. I wouldn't call this difficult at all. I would just call it frustrating. And quickly you will see why. We're going to be riding on platforms. Riding on platforms. Alright, so here we go. Confirm. Tra la 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 la. This is how this works. Oh, was I supposed to press something? I'm pretty sure I was. Okay, well, because I effed up, let's start over. I forgot I was supposed to press something at the junctions. I thought the junctions just kind of did their thing. If I think I have to press the X button, maybe? Okay, yeah. Press the X button at the junctions. Go right at the first junction. Uh-huh. And then... Okay, I, it didn't really let me choose. Let's just see where this takes me. If it takes me to a sphere, we're going the right way. Alright, yeah, we're going the right way. That's fine. Alright, so we kick it off with grabbing a sphere. Grab this first Bevel spear. Spear. Put it into the pedestal. And let's get the fuck out of here. I believe to get the fuck out of here, we just push the pedestal. Just push it, right? Alright, yeah, so this is basically the gist of this place. You're gonna need to figure out all the paths, figure out exactly what you gotta do to get to the end, and keep riding these fucking conveyors, I guess you could call them, to the end, whilst doing a puzzle in the meantime. Um, I'm not entirely sure which way we wanna go from here. Do we wanna go right or do we wanna go straight? Okay, I think we wanna go right here, actually. Can we? Can we go right there? I don't know, man. I tried to go right. I'm confused. Can we go right here? I'm I'm a little confused on what we, like my own notes cuz it's not clear. I haven't done this shit in so many years. It's like, ugh. But I think this is right cuz there is an empty slot here to put a sphere in. So let's just go ahead and do it and hope that I'm correct. Because that'll activate something. Oh, okay, I see. It activates a bridge, so we can actually cross. That's actually a good thing. All right, I believe we can go ahead and get back on, get back on Akavaya. And okay, yeah, I'm doing this right. We're off to a good start. I've got to just go ahead and ride this shit on the way back. We start from the beginning once again. Yeah, if you get confused on where you are, just right off one of the edges and start from the beginning. It's much easier to figure out where you are from the beginning than when you're stuck in the middle somewhere. Especially once the camera starts changing perspectives and shit. Anyway, you want to turn left here. And are we grabbing this one, I'm guessing? I mean, that's pretty much our option here. If we take this one, what will that do? I guess it's not doing anything, we're just... I guess we could carry one with us. I wasn't sure if we could carry one or if we had to put it in the pedestal. That's that's fine. That works well. All right. Okay. So now that we've done that, we can head down to that other path that we opened a minute ago. And now that we've completed that little bridge, yes, yeah, it'll actually let us turn here. See, before it wouldn't let us turn here. Go, yeah, we, we can go left now, I'm pretty sure. Wait, did it? Did I have to wait? No, I went back the other way. Shit. It's 
not what I wanted. God damn it. Sometimes this game, or sometimes these, these fucking things, you have to like press X. I want to go back down. Damn it. I guess I could try to use this to go back the other way and save us a, a moment of our time. It's not really that confusing. It just switches the camera on us. I want to go back down there, man. I want to go down there. It's confusing which ones will say which way do you want to go and which ones will be like here. Just decide which way to go. Or you have to click it at the right time. There we go. Now we're going to go the right way. Okay. From here, I believe we just want to ride on to the straightness. Not going to worry about stopping at any of these ones. And then turn right here, I believe, at the end. Yeah, okay. We're, we're so far, so good. So far, so good. I'm going to put this, this one here. And then I believe we're... What does that activate exactly? Okay. It activates that bridge. Um... Do we got to do anything with this bridge right now? I think we're going to have to just come back here with a... I don't think a Bavel Sphere will do anything here. I think we have to come back with a Glyph Sphere or a Destruction Sphere or something. In fact, I think the Destruction Sphere was actually behind that wall. So, we have to come back with a Glyph Sphere, I think. So, yes, we get to ride back to the beginning again. Fun times. All right. Here we go again. Um, oh, it didn't take us all the way back to the beginning. It just took us back to the beginning of this path. That's actually pretty nice. Alright, so I think one of these paths actually has that glyph sphere we need, which should be this one. I hope it's this one. Yeah, that's definitely looking like a glyph sphere to me. And then we'll grab that and we'll take it over to the other one, because that's... I got this going pretty good so far. I'm kind of glad. I'm just going to... Hope that we don't have to do too many uh, backtracks over and over again here. But so far, so good. I'm kind of enjoying this. And my, I'm glad I have notes. And obviously, this is pretty like straightforward. We haven't really done anything that crazy confusing yet. But it should be noted that if you've never seen this place before in your life, it is a bit, I don't know, overwhelming. God damn it. I'm supposed to turn there. Not fall off the edge, genius. Let's try to press X at the right time this time. And yes, you do have to time when you press it, apparently. God damn it. No. No. Yes. Okay, let's just not even. I should just be mashing X. I don't know why I, I like, wait. If you know that's the intersection you want and there's only one way to turn, just fucking mash the button. Just mash it. Just start mashing it right after this. Just mash it. Just mash it. Can't see. Fucking A, man. Maybe fly off that edge again, son of a bitch. I wonder if they actually changed this puzzle at all, like how it resets and all that when you're playing, as compared to the uh, the actual original PS2 version. I don't really remember too many things about it other than this just being very annoying to do and taking a long ass time the first time I ever did it. Oh my god, like, like so long it took me to do this fucking puzzle. Whatever, we got the, the freaking construction, construction destruction sphere. And I believe we're going to put the destruction sphere right where we picked up the glyph sphere. So hopefully that'll get us our treasure. And if it doesn't, well, it's because we just wanted to get the destruction sphere out from where it was. I'm not entirely sure. I think, I think that is the case, actually. We just wanted to grab the destruction sphere out of that hole. Fuck, I missed it. Ugh. <sighs> Okay, yeah, see, I'm remembering this now. So, yeah, we're doing exactly that. We gotta drop this off so we can actually hold on to a new sphere. I should just put it in the pedestal and pick up the other one. Why doesn't the. I don't know why it doesn't say to do that. Whatever. I'm not gonna question it. Maybe the way I wrote my notes or the guide I used to make my notes didn't realize you could carry a sphere with, with you when you're running around. Either way, let's just put this here. Actually, that might be what we need to do. Oh, maybe. Seems to have activated something, so maybe that is what we needed to do. All right, well, regardless, let's go. The only reason I'm saying any anything is because I feel like if I... No, never mind. I just realized why you can't do that. I was going to say we could put the destruction sphere into the, into the pedestal and then grab this Bavel spear back that we're about to go grab. But all that would do 
is make it so I can't trade spheres. Because you can't trade spheres. You can just only carry one and drop one at a time. You can never actually trade. Keep that in mind when you're doing these puzzles. You can never trade the sphere in your hand for the one you see. So keep that in mind. All right, so we'll pick that one up. We'll be able to reuse it now that we've gotten that part of the puzzle out of the way. Good stuff, good stuff. All right. Now, I believe we're gonna do the same thing, but this time we're just gonna go on the only path we haven't been to. Makes sense to me. We have, it's really only the last path we haven't, haven't gone on yet. Which is this one. And this one's pretty self-explanatory. Just leads you to the other side. And uh, I believe we're just going to push this straight across. And keep on keeping on. Sound like a plan to me? Mm-hmm. I think we're almost done here, actually, now that I'm looking at where we are. In fact, I believe we are. I think we are done, in fact. Because now that we have two Pavel Spears with us, we can take one of them up here. We can grab this, which is our prize for the Destruction Sphere. And the puzzle is done. That was it, I believe. We put this here. That would allow us to go across over to here. Oh, okay. I see it activated that. And I believe if we step on this. Boom. There we go. For some reason, there's two prizes here. I don't know if one... Basically... Actually, you know what? The HP sphere I just got was not the Destruction Sphere prize, I don't think. I think this that I'm about to pick up is actually the Destruction Sphere prize. Either way, you need to do it exactly how I did it if you want both prizes. There's a Night Lance. I don't know if it's any good. We'll check it out in a minute. Um, we're not going to need to fight for at least a little bit. So let's go ahead and check it out right now just for fun. For funsies. Knight Spear. Or Lance. Whoa! Look at all that strength. Would have been nice if I kept Kimari a strong guy. But no, he's a mage now. Sorry. Would be nice if I want... It would be nice if I do want to switch to fighting at any point in time. Anyway, we're done here. Wow, that actually, I mean, it still took me over 10 minutes to do, but it actually wasn't too bad, as, as bad as I was dreading originally. So that's good. Didn't miss nothing, got our two got our two prizes, and we're done here. Let's be rewarded with Faith you and know. a new Aeon. What do you say? Inside, maybe? Then what are we standing here for? How'd she get through that puzzle all by herself? <laughs> Tyler, you're crazy. What are you doing? Hey! Not supposed to go in there. You can stuff your taboos. True that. Fuck you, Evan. At this point. There you go, Kimari. Yeah, Kimari's in on board. Fuck you and your taboos. I want to see what this faith looks like. God damn it. Is the door only open to summoners? Is that how it works? Never really explained that. Well, Kimari held it up long enough for Titus to slip in. That's cool. Also, if we let Yuna in here, stay in here by herself, she might take a whole goddamn day. Remember the last fucking... Well, I guess the last few haven't been as bad, but still. Anyway, cool. We get to see a faith room. Wait a second. Wh what's that? A faith. They oh, wow. join with the summoner. How did Arn get in here? And together receive the Aeon. They are human souls, imprisoned in stone by ancient Yevon rites. The dead should be allowed to rest. Recognize the the faith like design. It's very familiar. It should be. Yuna. You right there, Yuna. Barnes like, uh, I'll leave you two to it. <laughs> no wonder she's always in here for a day. She gets knocked the fuck out as soon as she gets the damn A on. And yes, that means she got the A on, by the way. Sweet. Such a touching Wait! Moment. Don't come out! Wait, what? Why?
Uh oh. Shit. There's Fucking the last of them. Knock. You are to stand trial. What the f now we to stand trial? You I were just gonna kill us earlier. Fair trial. <laughs> of course it will. Oh, I'm sure it'll be super fair. The fairest of fairs. Alright, so guess what guys? We got the next Aeon and looky who it is! The most badassest motherfucker in the name of all that is summons that's right it's bahamut and storyline wise this is the last aeon will we be getting as part of the story however there are optional aeons and i will be getting all of them there are three of them well technically three of them um yeah but this is Bahamut, the king of all summons, the king of the dragons, the king of the shiznit. My, one of my favorite summons just in general because he's a fucking dragon. King of dragons, Bahamut. I love Bahamut. Therefore, he needs a badass name to go along with his awesomeness. The problem is the name I want him to be doesn't fit in an eight-character limit. Screw you, Square. Why couldn't you just make this like ten? Ten is a nice round number. But no... I can't call him Undertaker unless I fucking start using some shitty ass, like, leet speak, which I'm not gonna do. He can only fit in Undertack. Screw that shit. I'm not. He's not Undertack. That's not his name. I just wanted to show you what I wanted to name him Undertaker. So since he can't be the Undertaker, who else is badass enough? Who else stops the show enough to be named for. have Bahamut be named after them? I mean, they have to be a showstopper. They have to be the main event. They have to be, I don't know, somebody like uh, like Mr. WrestleMania, maybe? How about Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels? Or, for short, we'll just call him HBK. I that That's honestly the best thing I can come up with. I'm not going to call him Shawn or Michaels. Neither one of those sounds good to me. HBK is Heartbreak Kid, but you know his acronym is HBK. I, I kind of like that, actually. And I can, every time he comes out, he's going to come out and stop the show. He's going to become the main event. He's going to fucking destroy. That's what it is. That's what his name is. Sadly enough, he can't be The Undertaker, but he can still be HBK. I can live with that. I can live with that. Confirmed. And I guess we're going to save it because some, uh, I, think our, I think our trial actually is about to happen right now. If I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken. But let's go ahead and see what happens. I know I usually like to end it when we have those storyline lulls, but we're not even at 20 minutes yet for this episode, so we gotta keep on letting the ball the roll. High Court of Yevon is now in session. Okay. Sound like a Ronso to me. The sacred offices of oh, this court Ronso. seek nothing but absolute truth in Yevon's name. To those on trial, believe in Yevon. And speak only the truth. That's the only thing we know how to do, baby. Maester Kelk Ronso. Maester Kelk. Summoner Yuna. You have sworn to protect the people of Yemen. Indeed. True. Yes. Then consider. You have inflicted dire injury upon Maester Seymour Guado. Uh huh. Conspired with the Albed and joined in their insurrection. Uh huh. These are traitorous and unforgivable crimes that disturb the order of Yevon. Uh huh. Tell this court what possessed you to participate in such violence. Your Grace. The real traitor is Maester Seymour. Uh, you tell him. You tell he him, baby. His father, Jisco, with his own hands. What is this? Hmm? Haven't you heard? Not only that. Maester Seymour is already dead. It is a summoner's sacred duty to send the souls of the departed to the far plane. Yuna was only doing her job as a summoner. Grand Maester Micah, please send Seymour now. 
send the unsent to where they belong? Yes. <laughs> Maester? Send the dead? Dun dun dun! You would have to send me too. And there's your twist for what? you, bitches. Grand Maester Micah is a wise leader. Even in death, he is invaluable to Spira. <laughs> Enlightened rule by the dead is preferable to the misguided failures of the living. Life is but a passing dream, but the death that follows is eternal. Men die, beasts die, trees die, even continents perish. Only the power of death truly commands in spirit. Resisting its power is futile. But what of sin? I am a summoner, my lord, like my father before me. I am on a pilgrimage to stop the death that sin brings. Are you... are you telling me that too is futile? Because fuck you if you Grand are. Maester Micah, I am not alone. All the people who have opposed sin, their battles, their sacrifices, were they all in vain? <laughs> yeah, huh? Tell me that, huh? Huh? Old Not man? No matter how many summoners give their lives, sin cannot be truly defeated. And why not? The rebirth cannot be stopped. Why not? Yet the courage of those who fight gives the people hope. There is nothing futile in the life and death of a summoner. Never futile, but never ending. Mm. It's like a circle. It's like a circle. Indeed, that is the essence of the heaven. Lord Micah. The heaven is embodied by eternal, unchanging continuity. Summoner. No. That can't be right. Those who question these truths, they are traitors. Eh, fuck you, buddy. Lord Micah! Yeah, fuck you, buddy. Those who question are traitors. Bitch, please. It's only human to question things. If you don't question it, you're just being a douchey-ass <laughs> robot. Right there, Titus. I want out now. Get me out of here. You hear me? You waste your breath. Save your energy, bro. <sighs> also, who scratched that Man, that note in the bottom I of the fucking cage? Okay. And what does it say? Hmm. She's strong. She'll make it. Unless they lop off her She'll head. She'll make it. What, so she can die? <sighs> Why is it everything in Spira seems to revolve around people dying? Uh, the spiral of death. Huh? Hmm? Summoners challenge the bringer of death, sin, and die doing so. Oh no, my battery's gonna Guardians die. Guardians give their lives to protect their summoner. The faith are the souls of the dead. Even the maesters of Yevon are unsent. Spira is full of death. Spira only sin is death. reborn, and then only to bring more death. It is a cycle of death, spiraling endlessly. So let's break that spiral. <sighs> do it. Somehow. Some way. How do we do the things to do to stop the spiral thingy do? I don't know. But we gotta find a way. Come out. Your sentence has been decided. Let me guess. Death? Sentence. 
Don't you mean execution? Exactly. <laughs> really, now, what person would execute a dear friend? Uh, your bitch ass was about to kill us you back would. at the wedding. You were about to make it a red wedding, you remember? Until fucking Yuna decided to off herself. Quink, 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 quink. Yeah. So don't tell me you're not gonna kill me. And that's not an option or some shit like that. F that. Anyway, so what are we doing? We gotta walk the plank? Is that what's happening? Looks like you're next. Next for what? Yeah, next for what? <laughs> wow, the exact same thing I was thinking. Get in the water. It's not like I'm a blitzball player or anything. It's not like I can breathe underwater really well or anything like that. Where's everybody else? How are we talking from Floating underwater? Down there somewhere, maybe. Maybe. What are you saying? You drown them? It's very weird. But this is technically the prison system for this fucking Bavel place, so. Ooh, you made it. That's one way to figure this out, I guess. Looks like Walk and Riku are alright. What's our sentence? I think they expect us to give up and die down here. Pah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's a lame way to kill someone. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Where's Uni? I don't know. Wonder if we should wait for her. Hmm. Probably already down Let's here wait somewhere. at the exit. That's usually if a good there way is to do an it. Exit. Wait at the exit. Well, let's just wait at the exit, because every prison has an exit that they just leave open for the fucking prisoners to find. I mean, that's how prisons work, right? Well, technically, in video how game prison, that is how it works. Mister. It seems my father's murder troubles him. <laughs> Ever the answer. Hard-headed, hardly useful. However, racist. The summoner Yuna, daughter to High Summoner Braska. She may be of some use to us alive. She has disturbed the order of Yevin. She cannot be allowed to live. I understand. Let it go, Seymour. No one thrown into the Via Purifico has ever survived. Well then, you know what that means. Yet there is always a small chance that they might. Place guards at the exit, kill any who emerge. Sir, leave that to me. Oh, first your father, now your bride. Allow me to do this because she is my bride. Wait, I will go too. You do not trust me? Nope. Would you trust a man who murdered his father? That's what I'm saying. Very well, as you wish. Keenan. Would you trust a man who murdered his father? Not any more than I trust a man carrying guns. He's supposed to be upholding the law. Mocking him is supposed to be motherfucking outlawed and shit. You don't believe that guy either. Alright. Here we are. To the condemned. Stone panels are scattered throughout via Perifico. Step on one to transport. Yourself to the next panel. In the indicated direction. Nothing will happen if there is no panel to receive you at the far end. Alright. Fair enough. Basically, it's a nice little shortcut for this place, which will also lead us to some extra things. So this is basically a dungeon, and literally a dungeon, because we're in a dungeon, because we're supposed to be, like, you know, locked down here forever. And for the first time in the game, we control somebody that's not Titus, or Yuna. That's kind of cool, right? I thought so. Too bad she's not wearing that wedding dress anymore. A little sad about that, but, eh, we'll get over it. Does Yuna have any sphere levels? No. But she is by herself. Proof of that right there. Um... I think I'm going to wrap up the episode here because this is literally a dungeon and we'll be here for a while. And hopefully we can find some teammates because Yuna by herself, kind of weak sauce, other than the fact that she has Aeons. And yes, there will be battles down here, um, which means we're going to have to utilize Aeons until we get some uh, some party members up in here. That's fine, though. We got the motherfucking HBK up in the house. We get to test, test him out. That's going to be fun. Um, also, we should talk a little bit about... The Maesters, what the fuck, right? Maester Micah, undead. I mean, he's the same as Seymour, basically. He's died and he didn't get sent. And he runs motherfucking Yevin. Yevin is run by a dead man. Please get that through your head. Not dead men, dead man. 
and now two dead men because Seymour is part of him and he's supposed to be dead too. And apparently Keenock and Maester Kelk, which is Aronso, are not. And Kelk doesn't seem to be in on all of their bullshit. Like, he doesn't like that Seymour killed Jiskel, but whatever. He's a Ronso. Let Ronso deal with Ronso problems. And the other question I have is, wasn't there supposed to be five Maesters of Yevon, or was there only four? That's the other thing that has bothered me about how many Maesters there were. I'll have to go back and check the tapes, but I thought there was said there, there was five Maesters. In which case, who's the fifth Maester, or is there not one? I'm sure now that I've asked the question, somebody in the comments will tell me that there's only four, and I'll forget. Anyway, in the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X, we just explore Via Perifico and hopefully find an exit. So I'll see you guys then. Peace!